And we're live with story time with Max. And Max's mom. The artist formerly known as Candace. <laughs> we have way too much fun with that. Hi, everybody. So, what is our story for? Oh, and I had a joke for Max, and he still hasn't figured it out. Why, Why are, are mountains, mountains so funny? funny? You give up? Yes. Because they are hill areas. <laughs> they are hill areas. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks, Miss Vinny. That Miss Vinny said you didn't have to treat me like that. Miss Vinny sent me that one. I thought it was awesome. So, what are we reading today in story time? We're reading one smart goose. One smart goose. Now, I picked this awesome book up at a thrift store of all places, but it's one of the ones that we have read over and over again. Oh, this smart goose really likes it. So we're gonna jump right into One Smart Goose. You ready? Here we go. Down on the farm lived a gaggle of geese. They were shiny and clean. Even their beaks gleamed. All, all the geese, that is. All the geese, that is. Except, Except one. one. Look at them. They're all super clean and shiny. And then there's this little guy right here. How would you describe him, Max? Hmm. How, the, the one, the how one. would we describe him? Like, just how does he Odd look? Out? Odd, how does he look? Dirty. He's dirty. He's dirty. And how would you describe him in comparison to the group of geese, that one goose? What did you say? Different, and you said he was the odd man out. So let's keep going. So he stands out in the crowd, which is good. There it is. Sometimes. You're going to read that one? One little goose splashed alone in a muddy pond. He wasn't shiny or clean, and his beak certainly did not gleam. The other geese laughed at him. Look, Look at, at that, that dirty goose. goose. Huh? They all honked. <laughs> they were teasing him. How do you think? So we always we're gonna stop and think about it. How do you think that made the lonely goose feel? Sad. Sad. Do we like when people te do we like when people tease us? No. No, it's not fun. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's go back and see what happens. Most of the time. All the geese led a very happy life, but when the full moon, they tremble with fear. A full moon only meant one thing. thing. <gasps> wait a minute. Let's pause for a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Spoiler oh, alert, bro. Oh, I thought you knew. <laughs> no, they yeah. don't know. Spoiler alert. Hopefully you didn't hear him, but. What do you think? Let's make a prediction. Put on your, put your hand to your think, 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 thinking hat, think, think, thinking hat, think, think, thinking hat. Hmm. hmm. I think it might be hmm. a bear. What do you think the full moon means? An eagle. A bear, hmm. an eagle. Wait, no, no. Something that cannot be good because they tremble with fear. Let's see Maybe hurricane. what happens. Ready? Let's see what happens. <gasps> and the, the fox would, would come. come. And whoosh! Down the hill, he led a chase of all the geese through the woods and all around the farm. The, the fox chased all the geese, that is. Except, except one. one. He never chased the lonely little goose. Interesting. Interesting. He never chased the lonely little goose. Uh -uh. Hmm. Let's see why. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, one morning after a very bad chase, the little geese had just had enough. It was time for a talk. Look at them. How would we describe these little geese? They're all just sitting there looking. What? How do you think they look? How do you think they feel? 
I think they feel hurt on the inside and the outside. They, so you're saying that they have hurt feelings and hurt bodies from running from the fox. Yeah, they have hurt feelings because they're the only ones that got chased while while the lonely little goose didn't get chased. Mm. And it says that they had just had enough, so they were a little bit frustrated. frustrated. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens next. Mm -hmm. On to our next page. They wanted to have a talk. Why doesn't the fox ever chase you? They demanded. Have you got a secret you, you're not telling us? No, said the dirty little goose. It's because of my muddy feathers. They blend into the shadow so the fox can't see me, not even by the light of a full moon. Whoa! Boom! Shakalaka. What is it he did? He is his muddy feathers blend into the shadow. What's the word that we you use a lot when we talk about um, animals in nature that blend into their surroundings? Camo. Ah. He's camouflaging himself into the background, into the background, so the fox can't see him. Um, and you're pretending. <laughs> so let's see if that helps the other geese. But that was such a smart thing to do. Here we go. All the geese looked at each other and ran to the nearest muddy pond. They ran to the, ne the nearest muddy pond. And time, went, time by, went by, and all the happy muddy geese pecked away on the hillside. All except, that is, all that is except one. The lonely little goose watched the sky. It was heavy and gray. He shivered. It could only mean one thing. He called to the others and tried to explain. But they wouldn't listen. Mm, mm, mm. They wouldn't listen. Not at all. Now, let me ask you. If we were out somewhere and something was happening, and I'm like, I gave you good advice before. It said, hey, I blend in, and that's how he doesn't see me. And now we're all having these good days, and I'm like, hey, guys. Hey, everybody, listen to me. And would you listen, or would you be like these other geese and just be like, I would listen. You would listen. I Let's see. I also forgot to show them. Mm -hmm. We're showing the pictures up here. Oh. Ah, uh, you're not used to the flip. See, they wouldn't listen. So here he is saying, the smart little goose is saying, the lonely little goose is saying, hey, hey, everybody. And they're over there going, I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to listen to you. Let's see what happened. So he set off alone once more, this time to find the clean, clear, there, he washed and scrubbed and scrubbed and washed until all his feathers were clean and gleaming. Ooh, we have a big word here. Gleaming. What do you think gleaming means, Max? That means he, they're very bright and radiant. Radiant, another good word. What do you think, what is radiant? Mean? Outgoing. Outgoing, that's not radiant, but really shiny, shiny and bright. bright. Why? Let's see why he went from muddy, muddy to, to clean. Let's see what happens. Clean. Let's see, because he's been dirty all this time, and now all of a sudden he wants to be shiny and pretty. Let's see. That night, the moon rose full and round. And whoosh! The fox chased all the geese once again. All the geese, that is, except one. The fox didn't see the lonely little goose. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why didn't the fox see the lonely little goose? Why? Let's go back and look at the picture. Now, He's all gleamy, bright, and shiny, and they're all dirty, 
why can't they see him? Why can't the fox see him? Max, you have, wait, wait, I love the fact, let's do that again, right here. Max, you have an answer? Mm -hmm. Um, it's because, it's because look at the background. Let's this, go back to the picture so this, we can. There's snow there oh. and, and the, and the breath and the mighty geese stand out because they don't look like snow. And but the, what color is snow? White. And Fresh snow is white and? The lonely little goose is white, white and gleaming. And so, so is he blends snow. Into the snow. He blends into the snow. It's part of his camouflage. Camo Let's camouflage into the background. Camouflage. We're blending. So let's see what happens now. <laughs> All right. And he didn't see his foot either. So this Bear. fox was chasing and chasing and chasing all the dirty geese. And he didn't see the lonely little goose. And he didn't see his foot either. Bam! With, With a bump and a thump, he fell into the snow and rolled down the hill. <gasps> the fox rolled faster and faster and farther and farther faster and, and further and further and farther. And farther and far the geese. I don't think he'll be back either. Smiled the smart little goose. He's smart. He is. And they said, oh thank, thank you, you, said the geese. And for the first time, the little goose felt like part of the gaggle and was never lonely, lonely again. again. Oh man, that was such an awesome story. That is the end. end. Oh, I skipped. Quote of the, the end. The end. The quote of the day. Well, let me ask a question first, please. Okay. I have a question for you, Max. Yeah? Do you think it is better to be smart and alone or in a group and follow the crowd? In a group, oh, no. <laughs> smart and be alone. Why? <laughs> because if you're smart, then one one thing's for sure. If you're a regular person, you'll stand out in a crowd and you want to be yourself. But but if someone's attacking you, then you can use your smartness and not follow the crowd. So that way you blend in with the surroundings. Or you can like be the smart one and you're not. Or you listen. Okay, so one of the things I want to ask you is did the smart goose's brains help everybody? Yes. Yes. So being smart, thinking to solve a problem is a really, really good, good trait. Character trait. Okay. It's a good way to help other people using your brain. So let's look at our quote of the day. Quote of the day is really simple. It's really easy. It is be smart. Intelligence and smarts help you get everything. Help They help the world. They help us all. We all are better when we think and are smarter. So I'm sorry we couldn't do this live, but we're recording it and we're uploading it because we want to make sure you get it. You, you get, get it. it. You, you, you get it. And remember, mountains are Hill areas. Hill areas. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. If you know a teacher, if you know a nurse, make sure you call them, text them, message them, say something nice to them because they are rock stars. We love you guys. Other way. Yep. We love you all. Have an amazing day. Amazing. And we will have a story for you tomorrow. tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. 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 Peace out. Peace. Later. Do say.